welcome to New York City. After visiting Statue of Liberty, I have landed now in New York City. So here I am going to show you some of the major attractions in the city. If I entered New York City, this street show will welcome us and I will show you this street show. All over New York you can see like this different kind of shows just to earn some extra income. So after the street show, we just walked to a financial district in Manhattan. Here we went to see a charging bull, as is referred as a street bull. It's made of bronze. It's a symbol of New York Stock Exchange. It's a symbol of New York Stock Exchange located in financial district in Manhattan. In Manhattan. People say if you touch the nose or if you rub the nose of or horns and also the testicles of this bull, you will be having a lot of money. It's like a, it's like a good luck for you in when in it's come to money. So you, you when you when you see New York Stock Exchange, you can see the charging bull. It's a symbol of New York Stock Exchange.
So from charging pull, you know, just after two speed after you can see it's uh, uh, New York Stock Exchange. Here you see the big flag of uh, United States. That's the New York Stock Exchange. And you know the New York Stock Exchange. It's the world's largest stock exchange. It's in the Wall Street. It's in the Wall Street of Lower Manhattan in New York City. So when you say it's the largest stock exchange, by market capitalization all the listed companies are shares handling here the amount of 13 trillion dollar no any part of the world stock exchange handling such a big amount so 30 trillion dollars handling in this stock exchange So after visiting uh, Wall Street, we decided to get a bicycle. New York City is a bicycle friendly city, anywhere you can go by bicycle and you can also rent from any, any of kiosks. Just using my credit card, just took a bicycle and drive wherever you are, you just drop it. So we took a bicycle and decided to go to the largest park in New York. We roam around here for one hour, it's a nice park, it's a really big park, everything is here, night birds and ponds and you can relax here, many couples come here, many people come here for jogging, exercise and sightseeing, it's the really biggest park in New York.
So here you see it's a Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. This museum is the largest museum in the United States. Almost 6 million visitors visit every year. It's the third most visited art museum in the world. Next we decided to go visit the largest Apple showroom in New York, it is called Apple Fifth Avenue. They, they show all the latest Apple products and it's, the advantage here is it's open 24 hours a day. So next you can see here it's an Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is a 100 story building. It was the tallest tower for tower in the world for 40 years until they built the World Trade Center. It's also a New York simple of New York City. It was completed in 1931. It's 1,200 feet height, and it was challenging at that time because no one built such a tallest building in the world. So the construction took really a tough time for the people, and it took a long time to build it. After the Empire State Building, we moved to Chinatown, the largest home for Chinese people who stay here. And it's really a crowded streets. The most Chinese in New York they stay here. It's really crowded and food courts and restaurants, Asian food, massage parlors, everything is here. All crowded everywhere you can see. And Chinese supermarkets. All Chinese around, walk around here.
So today is my last day in New York and so it's the time to say uh, goodbye to New York and I'm on my way to JFK International Airport New York, the biggest airport in New York. His full name is John F. Kennedy International Airport. So goodbye New York, see you next time.